Hello everyone, welcome to Kipao live stream. I'm Sophie from Kipao sales team. Kipao is the professional manufacturer of power generator, low banks and water pump with 22 years manufacturing experience. I have been in generator life for seven years. Uh, I left my job because I can bring the power to all the people around the world who is really need this power urgently. Yeah, I I'm proud of my job. Today, my topic is also talking about the generator, one of the popular model, 500 kV generator, this one. Yeah. This generator, the prime power is 500 kV, and the standby power is 550 kV. It is powered by Cummins engine with Kipar blend alternator. Yeah. This generator, it is a silent type. This uh, canopy, it is Europe type canopy. Uh, we also call it heavy duty type canopy, yeah, because it is very strong. Yeah. Uh, apart from these features, this generator also have one uh, important function. It is synchronization function. Uh, this generator is not only one. Uh, we have two generators work in parallel. Uh, these two generators uh, both of these generator is 500 kV generator. They are the same configuration. Yeah, if they worked in parallel, the total power will reach one uh, one thousand kV. Yeah, if the load it is only uh, 600 kV, these two generator will work together and uh, work in parallel to shred the, the, shred the load half and half. Yeah. Uh, at this point, some friends will ask me, um, if the generator with different power, whether they also can work in parallel? Uh, yes, for different power of generator, just this generators have the synchronization function. They will work in parallel. You have, they have this function, yeah. But uh, uh, they will not shred the load half and half. They will shred the load at the same rate. For example, if one unit of the generator is 500 kV and the other one is 300 kV, the total power is 800 kV. If the load is only 600 kV, 600 kV occupied 75% of the 800 kV. The generator will shred the load. Well, the output of the generator is only 75 of their rated power. Uh, for 500 kV, the power output is 75%. It is uh, around 3. 175 kV. For 300 kV generator, 75% of rated power is 225 kV. Yeah, this is their function. They can uh, shred the load at the same rate. Yeah. The, uh, for these two generators, why we suggest this customer use two units of generator with synchronization function? Uh, the first one, it is for save the cost for customer. You will not let two units of this uh, two 500 kV generator, the total amount is less than one unit of 1000 kV generator based on the same configuration. Um, the other one is the, uh, according to the customer's uh, application for the hotel. You not let during the tourism season, the hotel need big power. Uh, it need one one thousand kV generator. But uh, if of the season, the hotel just need three hundred kV or five hundred kV. They don't need this generator working always at the one thousand kV or eight hundred kV. Uh, power. So we advise our customer to buy two units of 500 kV generator. Uh, they can use one unit generator during uh, the load, load, the small load. Yeah. 
it can help the customer to save the fuel cost. Yeah, but uh, of course, if the customer use the generator always at the big power like 800 kVA um, or 1,100 kVA, I will advise him to buy the one unit of the 1,000 kVA generator. They can save the fuel cost in long times. Yeah. Um, the other, uh, the other reason to advise the, our customer to buy the two units of 500 kVA generator, it is because uh, if you have two units of generator, if one uh, generator get broken, you still have another uh, generator for standby. It can offer the power to emergency equipment. Yeah, you cannot lose all the powers. Yeah, at the same time, yeah. Uh, apart from this uh, function, uh, other parts is uh, uh, keep the same as the single unit of generator. The biggest difference between the single unit generator and the synchronization generator, it is the electrical control system. Yeah. Uh, for synchronization the generator, the controller must be have the function of synchronization. And the breaker we used must be motorized. Yeah. For synchronization the controller, we can offer the deep sea, deep core map, uh, Chinese blend economic uh, smart drain blend. Um, for the breaker, we can offer the you know, ABB, Snyder, and um, Chinese blend, the LEC. They all have the motorized type breaker. Yeah. Now, let's have a close look of this generator. Uh, this canopy is heavy duty type. The base frame is made up of the channel steel sheet. The thickness of the base frame is 10 millimeter. Yeah, it is very strong. Yeah. For most manufacturers, they just use 6 mm, 5 mm, or even the 4 mm for the base frame for 500 kV generator. Yeah, but keep power use very, very strong base trenches. Yeah, 10 mm thickness. Yeah, for the canopy, we use the, uh, the canopy thickness is 2 mm, uh, not 1.5 mm or 1.3 mm. Yeah, we use the uh, 2 mm thickness canopy. Yeah. For this canopy, uh, it is very durable. Keep out the canopy and the painting can last for five years. Yeah. Why keep out the uh, canopy and painting can last for so many years? Uh, the first reason is we use the cold load metal sheet. The surface of the cold load metal sheet is more smooth than the hot load metal sheet. So uh, it weighs the better coating adhesion. And the second one is before painting, uh, all the metal parts we will treat it with polish and acid cleaning to remove the, the rust and uh, glaze and the oil and the oxide film yeah before the painting so uh, the this uh, outer this treatment the metal parts will be have strong coating, coating uh, adhesion yeah and the last one is we use the outdoor polyester uh, powder coating, yeah, that's why keep out the canopy is more durable and the painting can last for five years, yeah. Um, all the lock, all the lock and the hinge and the screws we use the is stainless, yeah. This is the con uh, control cabinet, yeah. This is the stainless emergency stop button yeah this area is, is easy to assess if something uh, urgent happen you can stop this generator by this button yeah this is the external fuel filler yeah you can refill the fuel for this generator no need to stop the running generator yeah also this uh, uh, fuel filler is lockable 
Yeah, you can use the key to lock it. It is for prevent the fuel from steel. Yeah. Now let's open it and have a look. This is the window. Yeah. Uh, now it is protect with the film. Yeah. Before the delivery, we will protect it well. This uh, window is waterproofed. Yeah. Um, at the surrounding, we will paste with the rubber. It is for waterproof. Yeah. Uh, this uh, all the parts inside it is electrical parts. Yeah, we need make it waterproofed. Yeah, this one is the controller, smart drain, uh, synchronization controller. Yeah, this is the indicator indicators. Yeah, this is the breaker. Uh, this generator we use the Chinese brand the DC. This breaker it is motorized. This part is motorized uh, breaker. Yeah, now because we just uh, finished the test, so we haven't finished the cleaning and haven't covered the, the sheet for the breaker. And later we will make it, uh, uh, we, later we will uh, cover with the breaker with the metal sheet. Yeah. Uh, inside the control panel, uh, this is the terminal block. Uh, this terminal block is Germany blend, Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix terminal block uh, is more durable and uh, it is more easy to uh, connect the cable. Yeah, so can make the uh, maintenance and repair more easier. Yeah, um, after so many years uh, market test and um, customer fee uh, feedback that terminal block of uh, Phoenix brand, it is very stable. Yeah. But the cost is very costly. It is nearly five times of common terminal block. Yeah, this wires it is Samsung brand, the least company, uh, the top brand in China for the wires. Yeah, and you can find that uh, on the cables there are two labels. Yeah, the big labels is marked with numbers. It can make the repair and maintenance uh, very easier. Yeah, and the smart labels, uh, smart white labels, it means that our key, our key power QC team had, had finished the inspection. Yeah, this one is the battery charger. It is smart drain blend. Yeah. Okay. The control system it is the brain of the generator so make it connect well and all the wire connection uh, uh, well very good it is very important yeah now let's open it and have a look inside yeah this is the soundproof material yeah uh, this top proof material, it is fireproof material. Yeah, cannot catch fire. Yeah, uh, it pastes with the Nike uh, Nike glue. Uh, Nike glue, it is for uh, sports playing Nike shoes. Yeah, sports uh, shoes. Yeah, it it is very good, and the adhesion is much better. Yeah. And inside the canopy, each corner we will paste uh, with the uh, soundproof material to reduce the noise uh, as much as possible. Uh, at this part, you will find that uh, it is different. In uh, this area, we use the fiberglass because this is the air discharge pipe. The temperature it is very, very high. So at this part, we need to use the special material which can resist to high temperature. You can find it here. After the test, this pipe, the painting had to get off. So the, the temperature, it is very, very hot, very, very high. Yeah, all this is, is fiberglass. It can resist to the high temperature, yeah. Inside the container, they all have the uh, engine, Cummins engine, yeah. An alternator at this side. Alternator. This alternator is a key power blend alternator. 
key part of Ternator, it is also Chinese made uh, alternator, but uh, our quality is much better than common the copy Stanford alternator. One of our engineer is come from last summer. He have raised experience in alternator. He make the optimization of our alternator, yeah, such as the welding and the belling. They have special treatment. That's why key powered blend alternator with high quality and we can offer three years uh, warranty to our customer. Yeah. And this part, yeah, it is the fuel tank. Yeah. It can supply the fuel to the engine. It is a very important part. Uh, this uh, fuel, it is separated to the uh, base flame. You can see the gap between the fuel tank to the base frame. And some uh, manufacturer, in order to save the cost, they will use the integrated fuel tank. The, in, the fuel tank will install, uh, install on the um, transit yeah, directly. If that, during the transportation or lifting the generator, the base uh, flame will get deformation. If that, the fuel tank will get linkage. Especially for the welding point, uh, points, it is easy to get linkage. But uh, this fuel tank, we call it dual world fuel tank or bonded fuel tank. They can avoid the oil the linkage. It can solve this problem. Yeah. Uh, this part, it is also a very important part for generator. It is radiator to help the generator uh, dispatch the heat outside to the outside. Yeah. Uh, the radiator we used is uh, the top one blend in China. Its blend is uh, mostly red radiator. Uh, for such as the Cummins engine and Perkins engine also use uh, mildly red uh, radiator for their energy. Yeah, so it is the best one in China. Uh, it is made up of 100% of copper. Yeah, 100% uh, of uh, copper radiator uh, with better heat dissipation. And also, uh, if this radiator get broken, you can welding it. It is easy to repair the radiator. Uh, but for some other material, uh, radiator such as the illuminate illuminate uh, radiator it is not easy to repair if we get broken yeah uh, keep our standard radiator uh, it is five uh, 50 degree in. yeah uh, most the supplier use the 40 degree in the radiator maybe they use the illuminate uh, radiator so the cost is lower yeah in some area uh, with high temperature, such as the Middle East countries, the environment temperature will reach the 45 degrees. They need uh, better radiator, such as 55 degrees or even 60 degrees radiator. We can customize this generator for this uh, country's customer. Yeah. Uh, here it is the overflow kettle. Yeah, it is for the coolant. If the uh, coolant it is fall out, it will flow to this kettle. Yeah, this area it is uh, installed the water jacket. This one water jacket. Um, many friends note that in some area, if the weather is very cold, they need equip the water jacket for generator. Before the running the generator, they need heat the liquid for engine and then start the, uh, the generator. Yeah, this is one function of water jacket. Um, water jacket also have another function. Um, especially for big power, the function is uh, more important. Yeah, uh, if you feel the coolant to the for capacity, you will find that it is not easy to fill the coolant to the full because of the negative air pressure. So maybe you have to refill the coolant 
one time and one time and again, again and again. But uh, for uh, if you equip the water jacket for this generator, you you can feel the coolant to the fold, fold more easily. You can save a lot of time. Yeah. Okay. And at the another side, yeah, the fuel filler, oil filler, and the air filler is installed at this side. Um, keep power design with big uh, dot for generator, so you can uh, replace the filters uh, very easily. Yeah, and this is the uh, water. Battery, the battery we used is water, yeah, with the caps, yeah, the red and the black caps. The caps can avoid the short, the short circuit, yeah. Like the wires we connect, it is confirmed to C standard, yeah. And each side we have uh, Detachable dot. You can go into inside to repair and uh, do the maintenance. Yeah, you just uh, disassemble the list screw. You can get inside. Yeah. All the key power generator will do test before testing. We will use the coolant to test the generator. Um, why we need to use the coolant to test the generator? Uh, before the uh, one South American uh, customer told us uh, he imported one lot of the generator from China. After he received the generator, they found the engine get broken. Uh, he take apart the engine and found inside they have the water and the engine had get rusty and broken. Why? Because the manufacturer used the water to test the generator to save the cost. But uh, this generator forgot to dis drain out the water and during the treatment across the Pacific, the weather is very cold. So the water inside the engine get frozen and lead to the damage of engine. Yeah, that's why use coolant to test generator, it is very important. And also, Kipa will test the generator at 24%, and 50%, and 75%, and 100%, and 10% overload test. Yeah, uh, even the very, very big generator, we can test the generator at full load and um, 10% load. Yeah, because key power is also the manufacturer of load banks. Yeah, this one is our load banks. It is 1000 kVA. Yeah, for test this two 500 kVA synchronization generator, it is enough. Uh, for bigger power generator, we will use that one. Uh, this load banks, the capacity is 2,500 kVA, yeah. Um, low banks um, um, is similar to generator. They also can um, work together, uh, such as the, this low bank is 2,500 kVA, and that one is 1,000 kVA. They can work together to reach, to reach 3,500 kVA. So, uh, key power is qualified to testing the generator at the big power, for, uh, such as 3,000 3, kVA, 4,000 kVA, 5,000 kVA. Key power is qualified for that. Yeah. Now come to the end of this show. If you have any demand for power generator, please contact with Key Power. Key Power insists to supply the reliable and durable generator with the most cost-effective price. Thank you for your attention. Bye.